Good morning, everyone. Happy Coffee Talk Tuesday from snowy Vermont. It is chilly up here, but lovely. Nonetheless, today we are going to talk about some fun stuff. We are going to talk about tactics for TikTok advertising. Now, I know a lot of people uh, have thought about TikTok, are thinking about hopping on the trend, don't really know how it works as far as advertising is concerned. So the one thing that I'm going to say is TikTok is a, a newer platform that um, provides a lot of community and a lot of virality. So if you're thinking about getting on the platform, no, you don't have to dance. Um, there's a lot. There's, the platform has become much more dynamic than most people think. Um, but with that being said, uh, there are some advertising tactics that TikTok came out with um, that kind of break it down for you of how you should be running your ads on TikTok. Now, the one good thing that I will say about TikTok and their ads is because of the nature of the platform. Or what would be a, let's say, a very um, cinematic uh, ad that you may run on LinkedIn or on Facebook or uh, Instagram, it actually is does not perform well if you do have a very high um, production value on TikTok. So what you can do is you can create these ads or you can link up with these ad partners for a very low cost. So uh, I'm going to walk through the four tactics for running ads on um, TikTok and they do have ad partners that you can work with, but there is also kind of a platform where you can create them on your own. So the four tactics real quick are attribution, targeted bidding and optimization, catalog, and then creative. So let's walk through all of those and um, break down what they mean. So the first one is attribution, which makes sense because they TikTok needs to know where your conversions are coming from, right? So what you need to do is actually link up your uh, TikTok with your website, with your conversions. So making sure that you know where your conversions are coming from on your website are important to know where to drive traffic and also to collect user data, right? So if we know where people are coming as well as service server, and then the more advanced is the SDK and the API options. So as you up level through the three, so the first one, uh, which is the most user friendly, is the simple plug and play. The second one is server to server. And then the third base um, is the SDK and API solutions. And as you kind of upgrade through those different levels of attribution, you will unlock different um, ad formats. You'll unlock different targeted bidding and optimization options. So you really want to kind of up level to the next level uh, as you get more comfortable or when you find a partner to work with. So uh, what you need to do is you need to implement either the TikTok pixel, which is a little piece of code that you'll play, paste on uh, your, let's say, thank you for shopping page or whatever on your website. So this way, TikTok can track those events. You can also do an events API. Now, what's the difference? So the TikTok pixel will kind of send back information to TikTok of, let's say, when somebody has checked out. The events may be, if you've ever gone on a website and you kind of hopped around from page to page to page, maybe you clicked into some articles, read them, went back, went to the about page, went to contact us. So You want to kind of know that customer journey. So this way you know how to navigate somebody through that customer journey. So first off it is the pixel standard mode. And that's for anybody who doesn't have like kind of an in-house team or a partner that they're working with. So what that will do is just, like I said, you can copy paste a piece of code and that'll send the information back to TikTok. The second one is the pixel developer mode. So that's when you share both your, st um, your store post backs, which means when somebody purchases, it'll send uh, data back to TikTok that somebody has in fact made a purchase, but also your event post back, which post backs, which is what I was just talking about 
the customer journey as somebody goes through your website, what that looks like and how that information and what that flow of information looks like, right? That customer journey. Uh, and then finally is the advanced matching and uh, API events. And that lets you share basically events directly with TikTok saying, okay, somebody clicked on this and then they went here, 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 and then finally converted or closed out, left something in their shopping cart. And this just gives you more of an idea of how you can retarget and why you should be retargeting where in the customer journey that, that they are. So that's step one, that's attribution. So making sure that you're getting your information of your customer journey and what they're doing. Now this can get pretty in depth, but as you kind of level up through the different attribution options, you'll get different targeting options, you'll get different uh, optimization options and different bidding options as well. So this kind of just all inclusively comes together where you're making sure that you're targeting the correct audience and there's different uh, options down below which I'll go over where you can actually link up with some TikTok partners and they will link you up with creators and those creators will be able to make content um, that is relevant to your brand work with your brand um, and we all know how influencers right work right they do perform very well um, so that's the targeting, bidding, and optimization. Bidding meaning, hey, I want to spend X amount of money uh, for X amount of spots. And then optimization is to make sure that you're getting in front of the right audience. So number three is catalog. And now that focuses on their in-house tool. Um, they call it the suite, their suite of tools that helps you get in front of the right people, right? So that's kind of what we were talking about before. If you want to target a certain person, you may not realize that you're missing um, the boat on another audience that could potentially be interested. Uh it and uh, professional is the first one is you can manually upload your products now that's fine if you have maybe 10 or 20 products but if you have a hundred or thousands of products it's probably not really feasible the second option is you can upload a CSV file or CSV format which will just basically give all of your products and your SKU numbers at once uh, and upload it into their catalog feature and the third one finally is to upload via their API or one of their partners so you can either direct plug in your feed with a CSI a CSV file uh, or you can uh, direct upload your catalog feed via their API or uh, through one of their partners that will help you. So why is this important? Because once again, like I said, if you have thousands of different products or services, you know, that's going to take a long time, but also the direct feed upload. And if you plug in that API, when you change your uh, catalog on your website, it'll change on Instagram as well, or I'm sorry, not Instagram, on TikTok <laughs> as well. So um, as you level up through those different ones, which is manually the CSV file or the direct uh, upload via the API format, uh, you'll actually uh, you'll actually unlock even more ad format. It's an immersive experience. That's what TikTok is. They, ca they call themselves an immersive experience. So they want you to have the sound on. They want to make sure that any text you're putting on the screen um, doesn't cover up anything important that's going on or you don't cover up any of the text that you want people to see. They want to make sure that it is a full immersive experience. So they invite you to use different sounds, trending sounds, but also ones that are relevant to uh, your brand and your industry. They want to make sure you're using the full screen, the full version vertical screen, no borders or anything else, um, and that you're using sound as well. So the three ways of create uh, of up leveling kind of the creative aspect is one to repurpose your creative. So that means anything that you've made for let's say Instagram reels or YouTube shorts, <clears throat> excuse me, you can repurpose that onto TikTok as well. The second one is dedicated TikTok 
TikToks via create creators. So that means linking up with people who are doing very well on TikTok, uh, people who are influencers on the platform, linking up with them and creating content that is specifically made for TikTok. It is made within the app. Uh, so that's the second one. And the third one is getting a creative partner ecosystem, which is working with one of their verified partners, uh, one of their API partners that will actually feed you about five creators a week that will, uh, well, that's what they say. You want to, you want to go for a, about five creators a week. And that is just. did come out and say is that 75% of their audience actually comes to be entertained. So that's kind of the difference too about TikTok is it's not so much the traditions of um, the tr traditional use, I'll say, of um, you know, being very informative or anything like that, they actually want you to have fun. So even if you are being informative and you are uh, portraying certain information that you think is necessary to reach your target audience, you want to do it in a fun manner, right? Maybe you're outside in, oh, sorry, <laughs> I dropped Instagram. Maybe you're outside in the snow and you're talking about TikTok advertising, right? Um, there's all different fun ways that you can disseminate information. And that's something that TikTok allows you to do is uh, to get that information out there in a really fun manner. <laughs> um, and they actually uh, invite you to do that as well. So that is the four tactics that TikTok has come out and said um, are the best practices for advertising on their platform. So first off, obviously attribution, making sure that your events from your website are getting back to TikTok so they can properly direct the right target audience um, in the right customer journey to your website so they can convert to targeting, bidding, and optimization, making sure that you're reaching the right people, staying within your budget, but making sure that Or uh, number three is the direct um, ABI plugin that is going to upload your catalog. And number four, your creatives, making sure you're using the full screen sound and then also uh, linking up with creators to, uh, to advertise on their platform and have them be influencers for you. So those are the four tactics for advertising on uh, TikTok. Thank you so much for tuning in to Coffee Talk Tuesday up here in beautiful, snowy Vermont. And I hope you all have a fantastic rest of the week. If you want to know any more, let us know below or go ahead and shoot us DM. And if you found this helpful or if you think that you're going to be advertising on TikTok, want to know more, or if you don't think TikTok's the right platform for you, let me know below. I'd love to have a conversation about it. All right. Thanks for tuning in and we will see you next week. Bye.